can see that. $162.07. Hey, hey, guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Troy. You're at the channel where we grind for that money and we leverage the income. Today, we're going to do a little Uber. No, not a little Uber. We're going to do a little DoorDash. You know, I'm so used to saying Uber, right? We're going to do a little DoorDash today. I've been doing that, DoorDash all week, pretty much. And um, DoorDash has been the move in Brooklyn. It really has been the move in Brooklyn. Um, it's, it's different everywhere. I want to say, you know, when I'm doing DoorDash in Brooklyn, for the same amount of time it takes me, with less orders, I make just as much or more money than I would do if I was using, you know, doing Uber Eats at the time. And I noticed that DoorDash, um, members who use DoorDash, they tip more too. So, I mean, listen, it's a pandemic out here. We're trying to make some money and then we're going to leverage that money to make some more money. A wise person told me that every dollar that you make is supposed to work for you, okay? It's like little soldiers, you know what I mean? You want to make as much money as possible, you know? You don't want to only grind and grind and grind for your money and your income all year round, you know what I mean? You want to grind for some money, save some, you know, have your emergency fund, you know, like let's say six months to a year of, let's say, your rent and food and other expenses just sitting on the side, whatever you think uh, you should have saved up for like, you know, just in case if anything goes down and you're not prepared for, uh, but you would be prepared if you were to, you know, save some money, but, but yeah, definitely want to take that money and make it work for you. Okay. So we got multiple ways to do that. I'm going to get into some of those ways that I'm choosing to leverage my income as I do DoorDash, Uber Eats, and I'm gonna start. I'm actually looking. To, uh, I'm signing up for um, Amazon Flex right now. I'm doing the uh, training in the back office, so you know we're gonna see what's going on with this. And you remember, I, you know, I'm in the vibe ride, so you know, drivers who it's not currently in New York, but when it does hit New York, I'll sign up for that. See how that goes. Uh, it's another ride sharing app, but with this one, it's not just uh, you know the driver in the company is actually a re referral program with that so you make money when you refer people who drive and it's not like just a promotional thing it's all the time so let's say you had like 50 drivers or something like that just a hypothetical let's say you got 50 drivers driving wherever it's uh, we're opening and every time they did a ride you make some money so you know that's what that vibe rides is about but um yeah guys it's just uh we are here we're gonna grind and then we're gonna leverage the income all right so let me show you what I, you know, did for the week so far. So me personally, my goal every week is max two hundred and fifty dollars. You know, I have a full time job, and that's where I'm at Monday through Friday. But um, you know, maybe an hour or two, three hours, three hours after work, I come out. You know, I take maybe take an hour nap because I'll be exhausted after doing what I do because my job is, you know, f like physical and logistical. You know, I'll sit one minute, I'm sitting down doing emails. The next minute, I'm running around moving things, you know. So, my full time job is taxing on my mind and my body. So, I'll be exhausted. So, you know, I'll get home, I might take a, like an hour nap, eat something. Then I'll go back out for mm, two, three hours or something like that, do some DoorDash. But my goal every day would be to make $30 a night. You know, that's like three to four deliveries. Um, excluding the tips. That's like three, four deliveries. If you add tips to that, you know, I'll, I'll hit $40, $45 in a night. Um, you know, I'm just doing extremely part-time, extremely part-time, you know, to supplement my income and add on it. DoorDash pays, well, for me, it pays me uh, every Tuesday. And my daytime job, you know, I get paid on a Friday, every Friday. And then my part-time job will get paid every Tuesday, which would be DoorDash or Uber Eats at the moment and I'm working on like I said Amazon Flex. Let me see if you can see this. So far for the week, I'm hoping you can see that right. That's $135.15. Nothing crazy. If I hit $200 out of the week for DoorDash, that's all I really need. $200, $250. But I, I like to use a lot of the, the money that I make doing this to invest in like real uh, stock market. Excuse me, not real estate, but stock market. Uh, one day I want to, you know, invest in real estate. But uh, right now it's the stock market and uh, some more the, uh, businesses that I that I do on the side online 
as well. I'll use this income and leverage it with those. I'll get into those in some videos in the future. But yeah, guys, so let's get on the road. Let's do a couple, you know, rides and uh, let's see what we make. It's somebody's first, somebody's first DoorDash trip over here. <laughs> so, you know, before I get on the road, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw down a little bit. Where am I going? Right, left? Yeah, see, I got an anonymous helper today. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw down. Take the next left onto Wilmore Street, then turn left fish. onto East 96th Street. And eat this fish. My, my silent helper just got me. My anonymous, my anonymous helper uh, did their first door dash today. So I was helping them out and uh, they, they flipping that paper stack now. So they want to treat me and uh, buy me some fish and chips. So I got my first pickup at Subway, so it's time to go ahead and make some more money, all right? Let's go get this thing done and deliver it. Sign sealed and deliver it. Just finished that Subway's order. That was about a $6 order. And the only reason why it was $6 is because it's, uh, it's peak hours. Well, right now they need people out here to deliver, so they're giving a $3 bonus. I'm in uh, Brownsville area right now. And they need a three dollar. You get a three dollar bonus for each delivery that you do, right now. So I went to the hot spot in Brownsville, and that's where that Subways was. So I, you know, I did the Subways delivery. Only got six dollars for it because uh, it was a really short delivery, really short. Right, right under and on top of that, they didn't tip. <laughs> so it is what it is, right? But we keep on rolling. That's what we do. Y'all like my hat? So right now I'm on my way to a Burger King's pickup. It's a Take little the bit next more right money. Onto Rockaway Parkway. The Burger King King pickup is a little bit more money. It's about eight dollars and change. I'm gonna check to see how much it is right now. This pickup is eight dollars and ninety-two cent. There we go. Eight dollars and ninety-two cent for this delivery. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Continue on. When I first started filming. You know, doing DoorDash and Uber and everything in the car. I was using my GoPro camera. But that one time I had uh, a person with me in the car helping me do a video. I used my DSLR, you know, Canon uh, video camera. The ones that I use for my other YouTube videos. And uh, man, after seeing that, I couldn't go back. The quality is just so much better. So I had to figure out how to mount this DSLR camera up into the uh in my car so that's what i did before i could even go back and do more videos i had to get the quality that i like because I, I put myself in your shoes like if i'm watching a video like this i would want to see some quality you know so i couldn't help it i waited and i got the mount and everything all the pieces that i needed to do things a certain way so you have a decent look when you see me driving in brooklyn right now so I hope you enjoy the quality of this uh, video. The pickup at uh, Subways, I had to wait for. They literally just started the order when I got in. But luckily, since it's Subways, it's kind of fast. So, uh, I mean, I still had to wait. But that's one thing I like. I can actually put that in the app showing you that I'm, I've been... Wow. This guy almost ran into people just now. People be driving crazy sometimes. But anyway, people be risking it all to beat the light, to beat other cars. You don't have to make every light. <laughs> it's Brooklyn, baby. Let me go get that order. They actually gave me two more orders in Burger King and I gotta walk a little ways back now because the traffic out here is just crazy. I'll be right back. from getting the two Burger King orders. I do love when that happens, especially when it comes to DoorDash. You get two orders in one location, make a lot more money faster. We're here at the apartment. I gotta take the food to. Oh, 
It's one down, one to go. It's good to have these hot bags, man. It's good to have that because we got two different deliveries. You want to keep the food nice and warm. I think that keeps you rated nice and good too. So it don't seem like you came, took too long to get to them and made their food cold. You don't want that. Let's get to the next one. And uh, see how much more I'm gonna do for the day. $162.07. And this is why tips are extremely important. That's $162.07, but the tips are $64.32 out of that $162. That's that, that whole sixty-two dollars is basically the tips. Okay, so the the you know I haven't even gotten up to a hundred dollars in just the base pay yet. So you gotta think about that. DoorDash base pay, you know, it's like half, almost half the tip, just depending on what's going on where you at, how much they're tipping. If you look closely right here, last week I only worked two days out of the week. Okay, I worked Friday night. And that Sunday, and I made $149. This week, I did a little on Saturday. Last week, I got lazy, didn't want to do much on Saturday in terms of working. But um, I, I did work on Sunday. So I hit $149 and change last week. But this week, I haven't even worked. How many hours did I work this week? So far, my dash time in total is seven hours and 24 minutes, okay? But the active time where I'm actually holding someone's food in my car from the time I pick it up until the time I give it to the customer, it's only been six hours and 21 minutes. So let's divide $6, I mean, excuse me, let's divide $162 and seven cents. We're gonna divide that by six hours and 20 minutes, so six and a half hours. So. I roughly made $25 an hour so far. You can make a decent amount of money, you know, with, with DoorDash out in Brooklyn. So, you know, if you're in Brooklyn, you got a car, and you're not doing nothing, you want to throw a little extra money in your pocket, you got a phone bill you got to pay, do DoorDash. That's what my recommendation is. And I'm also, I'm going to put, if you would like to, I'm going to put my uh, link in the description below for DoorDash. So should you choose to do DoorDash, you can use my referral link. And um, right now they have a promotion going on where you can actually, you know, make an extra income just by completing a certain amount of deliveries in a certain amount of time. You know, right now I, I referred somebody and if they get a 250 or 280, I believe, deliveries done between now and May 7th, they get a $400 bonus. So that's not bad. So you're gonna make money, right? That person already done three deliveries. They started today. So, you know, you're gonna make money along the way and then you get a $400 bonus. Not bad, not bad at all. So, but guys, like I said, on this channel, we grind and we leverage. Well, right now I'm grinding. I'm showing you some of the grind. You know, I'm in Brooklyn. It's getting dark. I'm gonna do some more DoorDash. But um, while I still got good picture, uh, let's say, camera quality <laughs> while well, I still you can still see me pretty good I just wanted to record the video while I could and um, I'm gonna you know throw some more videos on YouTube for, for you uh, to watch hopefully this is helping you and um, why don't you grind with me why don't you invest your money like I am beginning to invest my money and I'm not a financial advisor or anything but, but I'm gonna encourage you to help your money make more money for you that's what I want to do that's what this channel is about not living paycheck to paycheck and basically taking the money that you make when you grind and it turn it into something that can really bless you in your future all right so with that being said my name is Troyston Tomlin everybody call me Troy it's your boy Troy um, I'm gonna end this video here and I'm gonna see you in the next one take care